Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to replace the switch on this Porter cable scroll saw. First things first, just to speed things up, all it takes is just removing this one screw in the back here. So just the Phillips head, I have a flat head here, uh, it removes everything here to access the switch and everything that you need. When I first did this, I took off two, three screws on each side, but you don't really need to do that. So I have the screw loosened. So as that's coming off here, there's two different relays. There's one for the switch, or the control switch for the speed, and then one for the light, okay? And then, so I'm gonna pull those, those off here. There's two of them, just like that. Okay, so the first one comes off, second one comes off here, and then there's four connectors that are connected to the switch. So you just wanna pull those off. I like to take a photo of it um, before you do all this, just so you can see exactly what the correct order is on um, putting it back together. So I already did so, and now you can, you know, this comes loose. Okay, so here's the switch itself. Now, first things first, to replace these, I got these on Amazon, two for about $21. They come like this. It's the uh, Kedu KEDU HY17-10 unit. Okay, these are two new switches that comes in a little box like this. I have the old switch here to show you. It's kind of burned out here. Um, I use an electrical tester to see that it's, it is bad. So in order to replace the switch, what you have to do, this is the most complicated part, you have to actually pull this red rocker switch off. And the way it's manipulated, you gotta try to pry those loose so you can pull this whole thing off because you need that to access the switch. So I'll show you how to do so. Like I said, it's kind of a pain. You have to use the uh, flathead screwdriver to kind of pry it. Pry it loose kind of push it in here one side comes first loose and then you get the other side okay and then it comes loose like this you can kind of see I don't think I really need to take the whole thing out but anyways here's the part right here okay you can just push it out and it pops out through the back, okay? So as you can see, this I just replaced the switch. I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. And then to replace it, reverse order. You wanna make sure that you're lining up the, and you push it back in in place. Okay, see how it's pushed in place? Then you gotta push this rocker switch back. So you wanna get that in position. Okay, so now I just pulled it out. Okay, just like that, put it back in place, switch works. Okay, and then next thing you wanna replace all the connectors. The red goes with the red and black here. It's hard to see. Make sure you connect it in place. And then this one, where'd it go? Oh, here it is, down here. Okay, so that's connected in place. And then I have the rest of these. You wanna connect these in place. A lot of times I use like a, some needle nose pliers that kinda of tighten these, just so you can kinda of see, just so they don't, you know, sometimes they can come loose when you're taking it apart. There's four connectors. Which I may need to do for the next video. And I should've brought my, I should've brought my uh, pliers out here to show you guys exactly how it works. But that's it. So you connect it all together and then you push it back and then you just pull the screw in and that's how it works. Thanks guys.